Hi, my name is Nick Green. I'm a board certified behavior analyst and uh, I've been in the field of behavior analysis going into my 10th year now and uh, I'm unique when it comes to most behavior analysts out there because I don't I don't work in autism services. I used to, but now I work in um, the areas of uh, health and fitness and wellness. Um, and so what I do now is I target you know, pro-health behaviors like increasing activity or uh, reducing sitting. And so I do that uh, kind of in a, in a variety of ways because I wear uh, uh, multiple hats. And so one area uh, is in research. And so I, I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Florida uh, working on my uh, degree in behavior analysis. And so in research, I target uh, too much sitting in the workplace. So uh, the health research has shown us that uh, sitting in the work for extended periods of time is super bad for us. So what we need to do is maybe look at some behavioral interventions that can kind of uh, help, uh, you know, increase activity uh, when it comes to, you know, sitting in the office all day. And so just my early projects have just shown that, you know, some simple behavioral procedures, just like using feedback, goal setting, some basic data monitoring have helped um, increase, you know, physical activity for some participants out there. Now, not everybody responds right away to, to feedback and goal setting. Um, you know, the workplace is very complicated, many variables going on, but, you know, what's needed is, is more research on figuring out what are those variables that will um, contribute to more activity, you know, for those sedentary office workers. And so that's the that's the research side. And when it comes to practice, you know, I, I founded my own company called Behavior Fit, and so I work with uh, typical adults online, targeting those pro health behaviors. You know, again, uh, increasing exercise minutes and time and activity. Uh, you know, maybe some eliminating these, eliminating some food items. For example, I work with one client where uh, she wanted to reduce the number of sugary sodas she consumed. Uh, uh, on a regular basis and from baseline we took her from over 30 a month and now she's down to having just one one or two every every week or two so that's it's fantastic the results are amazing and so those are just a couple examples that um, that I've I have that to, to share with you guys and I encourage everybody to um, if you have similar stories and work in other industries to to speak up ABA